If you own a Mercedes Sprinter, sooner or later you will have to have your fuel injectors replaced. Now, you can do it yourself, like I'm going to show you on this video, or you can just take it to a garage, they will change it, uh, they will change them for you, anyway, from uh, 500 to 5,000 pounds, depends if you already have the parts or not. Now, as usual, I've, uh, I've, uh, I've chosen to, uh, to do it myself, uh, and hopefully I can give you some tips on this video on how to uh, cut down on expenses. So, first thing you're gonna need is, of course, the injectors. What you really, really should know, first of all, is that if you're gonna get injectors from, uh, let's say, from a seller on eBay, even though uh, they're gonna give you a paperwork saying that everything was okay uh, with the injectors, if they sit on a shelf for too long, those injectors can become uh, faulty or they will not work properly. The correct way to store used injectors is to dip them in diesel or just have them in some kind of uh, airtight environment. So be careful when you're buying from eBay, ask the seller or if, of course if you can trust him, ask him for how long were the, uh, the injectors sitting on a shelf because I had that uh, bad experience. I bought four injectors a few months ago. But unfortunately, they're not working as they should because they were sitting on the shelf for almost six months. I've, uh, I've came across a company in, uh, in Germany. They, I'm going to link everything in the description of, the, of this video. They are called Diesel Fix News. Um, they are a um, very reputable company. They are doing this for a couple of years. They have tens of thousands of uh, great reviews on eBay. Uh, they have a 100% rating, so... I know I can trust them. I hope everything will be okay. Of course, we're gonna see at, uh, at the end of this video. But uh, the price for four injectors were 230 pounds for all four of them, yeah? What you need to know is that they, um, they operate on the so-called deposit system. So basically, you buy, you buy the injectors from them. Uh, bear in mind, they are not brand new, they are, they are refurbished but everything is changed in them they are cleaned so they are basically almost brand new but when you buy them basically what you have to do um, is after you received the injectors and you swap them from your car you have i think about 15 days to do that then you will have to send your all old injectors back to them they are requesting a uh, about 200 pound deposit uh, just so they can make sure that you're gonna send the old injectors back. So basically, they will refurbish your old injectors and sell them to uh, sell them to somebody else. That's that's how they do it. They do offer a uh, one-year warranty. I believe no mileage. Um, doesn't matter how many miles you drive. They do offer warranty, so hopefully everything uh, should be okay. They are individually packed, like so. It says right here manufactured they do come with all kinds of paperwork like this just showing you that everything work uh, worked as should uh, they are Delphi so uh, same as the, uh, the original now the injectors they do come uh, repainted in black my uh, my um, my injectors that were, were on the vehicle they were um, they were like a polished silver, but this one they do come in um, in a black paint. Uh, they've got the um, the fire washer as well. It's a brand new one, so um, I'm gonna show you how to um, how to prepare yourself to do the uh, the rewriting as well. Now, probably one of the most important tools that you're gonna need is um, that you're gonna basically need a, um, a scanning tool or more of a professional tool. To rewrite the values of the injectors so basically each injector has a code I will guess uh, it's uh, 20 characters long or something like that a very long um, very long code each uh, specific injector has its own code and basically what you have to do is um, log into the computer of the uh, of the van and retype everything with the new values of the new injectors um, that very long stretch of numbers and letters basically it's a code 
that basically tell the tells the car what kind of values that um, the the injectors should uh, should put into the engine so that is one thing that you will absolutely need you will need to rewrite the injectors now i've got a uh, scan tool right here from top down i've worked with them uh, in the past i will also work in the future they make really really good products and uh, that's what i like about them and this one even though it's very similar of uh, with what i've uh, tested in the past it has a very very special and important add-on because what i've worked with in the past um the tool was basically a subscription based tool so that meant that if you're going to work with one specific group or cars or brand or manufacturer you will have to pay every time you will need to um to do more specific things but uh, with this tool from top down it's absolutely free there is no subscription payment ever all you have to do is just update all the car manufacturers and everything that just make sure everything is up to date before you uh, before you start working with it and you should be fine quick unboxing this is how it looks like this is the tool looks really nice it's got a new dongle as well um, even though it's very similar of uh, with what I uh, tested in the past this dongle is very neat because you just press in it and this comes out and I suspect that those are some kind of um, LEDs that will uh, light up when you're gonna plug it into the uh, to the car port okay so I've got the dongle plugged into the uh, into the vehicle and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record the screen so you can see exactly how it looks like and uh, what I'm gonna be doing uh, on the on the vehicle so what we're gonna do is going to the maintenance and service yeah and go down you can see how many things you can do with uh, with this scanner a lot of things you can do the alt blue as well battery management system very helpful if you're gonna change some uh, some battery on a more modern car EGR valve a lot of things but we are interested today mostly in the injectors so we're gonna select the injectors let's uh, let's do Mercedes this time Mercedes Benz switch on ignition okay we got the VIN we're gonna select uh, VAN um, in our case we got the Sprinter 3906 select that up to 2013 it's a four cylinder diesel communicating okay adjustment of inje injector uh, quantities okay so it says here the injectors must be um, performed when replacing injectors after replacing one or several injectors the corresponding adjustment values of the injector is replaced must be recorded in the control module okay for specific cylinder okay so we got the 20 digits adjustment value okay we also got the stickers and we got the values right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write them down on a piece of paper so we got one two three and four I'm gonna write down only the last four digits and number numbers and then as I take them off I will recheck just to make sure when I'm gonna put them back everything is where it should be okay so we got cylinder one last four i've got y four w y cylinder two five t t u cylinder three six zero w x and cylinder four n two y z so this is what we have to do at the moment i'm gonna start removing them uh, i'm also waiting for a friend to come by um, and i will explain everything as uh, as we do them so let's jump on the front and uh, yeah start removing them okay so just double checking everything now uh, looks like the first injector i'm seeing with uh, n2yz at the end so injector number four is basically the first one 
for injector number one is toward the back of the van and injector number four is the first one I just hope I'm, I'm, I'm right with this one I'm gonna check uh, I'm gonna double check anyway with some uh, friends mechanic but definitely do the way they are written at the moment injector number four is the first one toward the uh, toward the radiator and injector number one is right at the end what I want to do first is give it a good spray everywhere around the injectors leave it for a few hours just to make sure I can take them out much more easily now, there is some clips right here this is the uh, returns you just press this up like so and they will come out this is the screw that holds the uh, the injector in place quite easily 17 mil wrench release the pipes probably have to do undo this as well there we go beginning to move Well, that was the last one out. All I have to do now is a bit of cleaning. I will clean the uh, the holes and everything as the best as I can, and then start uh, popping them back in. So now that everything is clean, the uh, the new injectors are ready to go in. Um, on the new injectors, we have the code written right here on it. You can see the code there um, and basically what I want to do um, is write down the whole number of the injector double check it triple check it just to make sure everything every letter every number it's uh, is correct just write them down fit everything back together into the engine um, and then do the um, do the rewriting with the software right everything is back together so um, only thing left to do is rewrite the uh, injectors using the top down and uh, hopefully everything will work um, I did try to uh, to bleed the, to bleed them once just cranked it up just to get the uh, the air out um, probably gonna need a bit more cranking I'm gonna rewrite the injectors at the moment and fingers crossed everything will be okay okay so it's been a few days now um, I've put everything back together all the uh, new injectors were in place and I just couldn't start up the van I've tried and I've tried and I was draining the battery I've also um, uh, used this uh, this jump starter from uh, from top down I did uh, I did a review on it a while ago and uh, came came really handy um, because it's pretty cold outside I was charging the battery during the night but after a few a few um, a few cranks of the engine the uh, the battery was just dying so this jump starter came up uh, really handy so um, eventually I got the the van to start using some uh, some start starter spray uh, but it was only running in um, in two cylinders going back to the top down tool to the scan tool I've realized that for some reason, I don't know why, two of the uh, the codes from the injectors came up as wrong values. Now, if those codes came up as wrong values, there was definitely something wrong with the injector itself. So um, I've contacted the um, the seller, uh, the company who sells these uh, these injectors. I've told them about it, so the van started eventually, but only running in two cylinders, so the injectors were definitely not running. Um, so I sent them back, and they've already sent me a, um, a replacement for, them, for those. They only came in last night. So I've got 
two new injectors. I'm just looking at the sticker on them uh, and it's it's a bit different. It's it's a smaller writing on them. I don't know. So they should be okay, hopefully. So what I've done is I've um, I've put back two of the old injectors, injector three and uh, injector four. Um, I had to take the van out to uh, to MOT last week as well, so I've done that. It's running okay, um, but I mean I have to change all four injectors for it to be 100%. So I'm gonna remove old injectors three and four and put in the uh, the new one. I've also got one of these um, diesel injector seat cutter set. Um, I've got mine from uh, from US Pro. But uh, there are a lot of a lot of sellers who sell this stuff, and um, I've been told that it's a very good idea to uh, to have the injector seat as clean as possible. Don't let any um, any soot or any deposits there. Just make sure you clean it really, really well. See, this is how the head looks like. Like so. And basically you'll just insert it into uh, one of those T wrenches and then just clean really really good. I will show you once where we're, uh, we're gonna get there. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this is what we're gonna do. Take out the uh, the injectors three and four, put the new ones in, rewrite everything and hopefully this time it will work. Okay, so I've removed number four. This is how it looks like before. I'm gonna clean it. And number three. Let's give it a good clean and uh, see how it looks like after that. Okay, so this is how the tool looks like. I'm gonna use it just like that. Let's start with the first one. Just dip it in and rotate it. Just rotate it slightly. You don't want it too hard or too much because uh, if you do it too much you're gonna take you're gonna take some some pieces of the seat itself you don't want to do that you just want to clean it okay this one was pretty clean so I can feel there's a little bit more of a grime in there. I'm gonna use this. Yeah, and you can see how much slime was in there. Don't want that between the washer and the injector. Just clean it off. There we go, we're getting there. I'm just gonna repeat this process. Also got a, a bit of uh, air duster, so I'm gonna make sure everything is as clean as possible. All right, this is how it looks like now. You can see nice and shiny on the bottom. I'm gonna try and do the same here. Still got a, a few corners here and there, but uh, has to be nice and shiny, just like this one. Okay, so everything is put back together now. I've also bleed the um, the um, the fuel lines. Just make sure you do that. Make sure you will want to get fuel first into the injectors. Make sure you bleed them. Uh, you don't want to get air first time into the injectors because uh, they might get jammed. So make sure you do that. And also, what I've used is some of this ceramic grease when I've put the uh, the washers on top of the injectors yeah right there on the on the on the tip I mean right here make sure you put some grease on it that's why the the washer will stay on this is the uh, this is the washer this is the old ones I've used the new ones as well make sure you use this 
uh, ceramic grease. It's a bit expensive, but um, so is your uh, wife's uh, makeup, so don't get cheap on that. So now let's see if it starts. I'm gonna leave it like that, leave it open, um, just to see if uh, nothing will blow. Probably gonna take some time for it to start. Well, let's see. I've already written the injectors, so we should be okay. Let's go. Oops. Oh. Is the battery? All right, so I've also connected the uh, the jump starter right there. Directly on the battery, looks like we're gonna need a little more oomph. Let's try and do this. Oops. That doesn't sound too good. Well, looks like all it needed was a bit of juice in the battery. Done that using the uh, Top Down Tornado. Done a review on this as well a few while ago. And success! <laughs> Everything ran as it should. I've already, already driven it. Um, I took it out for about one hour. Um, at the beginning was a bit shaky but um, I think it takes a while for the uh, injectors to start spitting like really as, as they should. <laughs> well, I have to say I'm really pleased with the job. Everything works as it should, hopefully I won't have any more issues with the Sprinter van because I'm getting really tired of it. So, um, as a conclusion, um, the uh, the Top Don RT Diag 800 BT really, really came handy. I really love how uh, how it works. It's, uh, it's fast, it's good, and the most important thing, no subscription needed ever, ever, ever. All you have to do is update everything, um, all the car manufacturers, all the um, all the functions and all that. Uh, it does the, the, the job brilliantly. And <laughs> once again, as I've said, it's completely free. Once you buy it, you got all the car manufacturers, all the brand, everything in the package is ready to go. So, thanks for watching, guys. I shall see you next time. All the links of everything I used is down below in the in the description. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the next one. Bye.